From a distance, it looks like a factory where motorcycles are assembled. A closer look clearly shows the image of motorcycles parked on a section of the Olusho-sun refuse dump site in Ojota. These motorcycles and tricycles of various sizes and models were impounded by the Lagos State Law Enforcement Agencies over the years. The Lagos Traffic Law 2012 prohibits the operation of commercial motorcycles and tricycles in certain parts of the city and across the state. This is the highest price offenders of the law have to pay. Over 4,000 are set to be crushed and recycled. The Acting Commissioner of Transport and the Commissioner of Police explain that the decision is backed by law. When they are impounded like this, there is a way of um, dealing with them as per the law. The law has said that they should be recycled um, crushed. and crushed. And that is exactly crushed, recycled. And that is it's as per the law. It's not as per hard dictates. So it is what the law says um, should be done with those machines that will be done. Besides the operators, the police commissioner says the enforcement would also affect residents who patronize them. There are actually certain areas where the state government um, have almost um, concluded that they would do a total ban of motorcycles. And one of those areas is within Lekki V Axis. Um, we want um, our people to know this. That in as much as um, we will continue to have non-conformists, um, the government will also be looking at uh, ways of making sure that we make them to conform. In spite of this, security and enforcement agencies are working to ensure the law is complied with and insist that the clampdown will be sustained vigorously on a daily basis. The Lagos State Government is also considering an outright ban on commercial motorcycles in highbrow areas starting with Lekki and Victoria Island.